Hey guys, Pete here, and this is the video tutorial for Trust Hijacker version 2.1. So before we start, we will go into what is needed to set up a project. First of all, for each new project, I have a unique folder on my hard drive where I have the text document which is this text document here which has my keyword list my article content and in this folder I have another folder where I put all my images there are enough there is nothing else in this folder only images that I've collected here's an example just to make everything work easy for the software instead of using images with extremely long long file names and strange characters in them I renamed them 1 through to 20. I use 20. The reason I use 20 is every time a new page is created on a Google site the software will come to this folder and randomly select one of those images to use as the image content and what's important is it's important to choose highly attractive images to your niche because these will be presented on the front page of Google in images.google.com like this for example. Okay so here's the images I used in the wedding project and here they are in Google you can see these images are used as the thumbnail for the video as well so what shows me that video was made by Hang It Millionaire where I use these images as the thumbnail for the videos as well but the main point is down here these images will be displayed across here so make sure you choose the most compelling images you can that attract the eye in that specific niche that you're targeting because when people click on those images they are redirected to the site that you're promoting just like the videos which is incredibly important so you need a text file with all your keywords your article content now your article content the best amount of words to use is around the 200 we've tried a lot more and that gets uh, Google sites banned for whatever reason we don't know but around the 200 words is perfect images in a separate folder the other thing is YouTube URLs what we are finding is that we're getting much better results in Google using or leveraging the authority that's been gained in existing YouTube videos so if you search in YouTube for a video in your niche that has got a million plus views tons of likes tons of comments what we're finding is that is transferring over into the results we get in Google not 100% proven yet but that's my gut feeling on it and that's what I'm doing right now like using images use as many high quality YouTube videos that you can list them in your te text document for future reference and each time a page is created on your Google site the software will randomly choose one of those YouTube links that you put in the software the more you have the more of the opportunity for each page to have its own unique video on it compared to the other pages because of course we want our each individual pages created on our Google sites to be as unique and different from the previous ones created other important feature is the file structure after you've installed the software you don't need to do anything here but this is where the PDFs are stored so you go to my documents trust checker PDFs and this is where all your PDFs are stored now the PDFs themselves each PDF gives you the username of the email used to create these accounts here it creates two sets of accounts that's the first that is the second and also here we have a link to my forum which has a post with nine document sharing websites that are all free which means you can then upload this existing PDF with all these links 
to the document sharing sites to get even more backlinks. What's also great about this PDF is you'll see all these hidden why isn't that working? These are the hidden links that every Google site has. We supply them here. And when using, these are the perfect links, all of these here, to get your site indexed fast. Right now, our software is indexing the second site created. On the second site, each individual page has a link back to every page created in the site, the original first site that was created. So in theory we're sending a ton of links back to the first site created and that will rank higher over time. Right now in the software when you create the two sites the default is set for two weeks into the future for the redirect on the first site to start happening which means that's giving Googlebot two weeks to crawl the first site and index it. This strategy is evolving over time, so if you need to get your first site indexed within that first two weeks, grab these links, Control C to copy, go to peterdrew.net, ping services, and here is a list of a whole bunch of ping services ping services. There are lots of sites here that do individual posts. They're great for pinging the uh, main URL and the RSS feed from the PDF or there are bulk ones like this where you just paste all the links, put your keyword in and go to mass ping and boom that will start getting pings to all of these links and get your site indexed relatively fast. Also, the other one is submit URL to Google. Here, you can do these links individually. and that will certainly get your site one indexed pretty fast. So that's pretty much everything you need to know to prepare for a project.